What's going on guys, PowerCPU here. Today we're going to be doing a quick video on the new Intel uh, Core i9 uh, and the X299 uh, chipset that they're releasing. Um, so, it, I know it's kind of late this video, but I have been busy, the wife, you know, messed up her back. I got strep throat, I got sick, um, kids got sick, so this video got kind of delayed. But uh, I wanted to, I wanted to go ahead and just talk about what Intel's, you know, what they're what they're up to, what they've been doing uh, with this new X299 chipset. I will tell you right off the bat um, of what I've seen so far and what I've read and stuff like that. It's um, it's pretty frustrating, and um, a lot of YouTubers out there are even saying the same thing that this this whole new Intel lineup seems completely rushed. Um, it, it doesn't. It, it just doesn't add up of, of what's going on pretty much because I know they promised us a 12 core 24 thread processor um, and then I don't know where they come out with 18 uh, 36 you know complete opposite of what they were talking about before uh, so they must have saw what AMD was doing uh, with their new processor coming out uh, thread ripper and they just they just feel like they were probably getting you know beat into the punch of of what you know AMD was doing with their 32 core processor or 32 thread processor 16 core pretty much 32 threads um, uh, and it has PC it has 64 PCI lanes you know so they were probably felt like they needed to hurry up and release their um, extreme series or i9 series um, and we're probably not gonna even see it till the end of the year if not even probably beginning of 2018 if anything who knows but if you go online and do a lot of research, guys, you, you will see that even Linus is pretty ticked off about it. Uh, myself, I'm pretty upset about it, especially with the pricing. Uh, if you look at the pricing here, you'll see that let's start off. Let's say let's start off with the i7 7740X. Um, it's running at 4.3 base, 4.5 turbo boost, and it's doing four cores, eight threads, uh, eight megabytes of L3 cache, 16 PCI Express lanes. It's going to be two channels DDR4, so it's you know dual channel memory. At 112 watts TDP, 2066 socket at 339 MSRP. So that's about the number one seller you'll see for the i7s. Uh, kind of the same thing as it is right now for the 7700K. Uh, if you move up to the i7-7800X, which is now base clock of 3.5, boost of 4.0, uh, six core 12 threads with 28 PCI Express lanes at 140 TDP at 389. Um, with the AMD Ryzen, you can get a Ryzen 5 6 core 12 threads for 219 at a TDP of 65 watts. So I understand, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, well, the per core performance on Intel is better, blah, blah. Yes, it is better when it comes to gaming per core performance, um, which I know a lot of you out there that are probably watching this video, I would say probably about 80 to 90% of you guys are buying these processors to either stream or just to game on straight up. I doubt you're going to be using it for development and rendering and stuff like that or whatever, but maybe video editing here and there. But um, pretty much when you're, let's say you're gaming, if you buy, if you're looking at the Ryzen 5 six core 12 threads versus the i7 700X at six core 12 threads for three, you know, 389, so um, $150 more uh, for that processor. But let's say you're gaming at 2560 by 1440. The performance CPU wise, let's say you get a GCX 1070. Performance-wise, you're gonna probably see a one FPS difference, if if that. Just because once you pass, uh, once you get to 2560 by 1440 and up, it's not it's not taxing on the CPU. No, nowhere near as much it would be running at 1080p. Now you're more use, you're using pretty much GPU power after you pass that 1440p resolution. So if you're gaming at 4K, you could literally run with an i5 from let's say a 3570K from you know a few years ago. And it would be perfectly fine at 4K resolution, let's say with the GTX 1080, uh, compared to this new series. So, again, I don't know what Intel is doing. Uh, I mean, with the new AMD Ryzen, what they did, as, as some of you know, I've ran Intel for many years, uh, since 2002. I ran AMD for one year back when it was 939 socket, back in 2005 with the uh, FX series, the FX52 and the FX50 series, which was their first dual core processors, you know, um, and they were doing really good at the time. So AMD comes out with these new Ryzen's and to me, I mean, I understand there was some hiccups in the beginning, but that's pretty much all taken care of. And it's been running beautifully. It's been running amazing. So for 300 bucks, I can get, um, you know, this monster of a CPU with eight cores, 16 threads for 299. 
um, that overclocks to 4.0 gigahertz with no problem and for 300 bucks you know and, and that's my thing i feel like amd or intel just rushed all this out just because they saw that amd is coming out with that 16 core 32 threads and i guarantee you that thing's only going to be priced like at 899 or 799 or something like that maybe at most a thousand but comparing it to the chart here the thousand dollar i7 7900x is 10 cores um 20 threads you know to me this is to me what what i saw here with the whole new i9 series is that intel is pretty much telling amd look no matter how much we charge we're still gonna have people buying our product so it's like a slap in the face like they, they instead of everyone was saying oh intel's got to lower their pricing this year they're definitely gonna lower their pricing because of amd uh well look they didn't they actually increased it so now their extreme processor is not anymore it's not a thousand anymore now it's two thousand so if you want the 18 core 36 thre uh, threads you got to spend two thousand dollars on this processor like i was okay with that back in the day for a thousand i've done that before i have spent a thousand dollars on a processor but it, it just now with amd being so close in performance and and for what it is like me being a content creator and streaming for a lot of your streamers out there i'm telling you right now for performance wise and for what you can do to me the ryzen price for performance is the way to go and i'm not biased towards any processor you guys know this i have used intel for many years i've used amd gpus i've used nvidia gpus i use everything i'm only I only get upset when I see things happen like this. Like this is pretty much Intel slapping us in the face and saying, no matter at what price we put these processors at, you're still gonna buy it, is what they're saying. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys wanna look more into this stuff, I would definitely recommend looking at Linus's video, how he, he explains that this was completely rushed, uh, even to the point where Gigabyte had to, uh, uh, they pretty much are not putting Thunderbolt on any other processors. And even with, you only could run RAID 0 on them right off the bat. If you want to run RAID 5 or RAID 10, you have to buy a separate card or a key that costs $100 to $300. Like, it's just it's just all over the place. And, and, and to me, I just hate the fact that Intel just rushed this instead of taking their time, releasing their best product for a good price, you know, and, and I don't know. It just, it just frustrates me, guys. So definitely this year if you're gonna if you're asking me what to go with as of right now if intel doesn't change anything i'm going to recommend amd ryzen completely ryzen 7 ryzen 5 if you're looking for a six core 12 threads the ryzen 5 1600 is amazing if you're looking for you know eight cores 16 threads the ryzen 1700 is by far the best processor out for 300 bucks right now um it will do everything you need uh, you know, for a good performance, for a good price, and the motherboards are inexpensive as well. And even the Wrath Cool that comes with it is phenomenal. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like. If you guys disliked it, just dislike it. It's all good. I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this video, but I just want to let you guys know this is my opinion. You guys have your own opinions as well. If you guys want to post your opinions down at the bottom, the bottom, it's perfectly fine. Um, and let's make sure we don't get too savage against each other, guys. This is just, I'm just letting you know my opinion. That's it. All right. Um, all right. And if you guys enjoy my content, guys, make sure to subscribe. I got a lot more content to come. I will see you guys in the next one. Power GPU signing out. See you guys.